instructional video is on how to solve one and two step equations. On the parts of an equation, the number in front of a variable is called the coefficient. The letter, any letter that is used is called a variable. And the number that is by itself is called the constant. To solve a one step equation, we want to isolate the variable by using the inverse or opposite operations. So again, we're going to be working with opposites. And it's important to remember that positive and negatives are opposites, so plus and minus. Multiplying and dividing are also considered opposites. For two-step equations, it means there's two steps. The first step is to use addition or subtraction to remove the constant. And then we use multiplication or division to remove the coefficient. If you are dividing by a fraction, you would multiply by the denominator, by the reciprocal. But we have the calculator to do most of that for us. For one, the equation reads x divided by 1.5 equals 16. I always draw my line down my equal sign so you can see that the numbers are on opposite sides. 1.5 is on the left, 16 is on the right. In order to combine the values, we do the opposite. So the opposite of dividing by 1.5 is to multiply by 1.5. Again, remember, plus and minus are opposites, multiplying and dividing are opposites. So on our calculator, we multiply 16 times 1.5, and we get the value 24. For number two, the 12 and the n together means multiply. So we do the opposite because the 12 is on the left and the 42 is on the right. The numbers are on opposite sides, so we do the opposite operation. Instead of multiplying, we divide the number. 42 divided by 12 gets us a value of 3.5 on our calculator. For number three, you can see that the 6 sevenths fraction is on the left, the 12 is on the right. So again, we're going to do the opposite. Instead of multiplying, we divide by the fraction. Typing in the calculator, 12 divided by 6 sevenths you should get an answer of 14. Notice my arrow is going from the variable and pointing to the other number. It does not matter if it's going left or right. You always start with the variable and move towards the other number. For number four, g plus three and a half equals 10. Again, it's important to remember that positive and negatives are opposite. Multiplying and dividing are opposite. So three and a half is on the left, 10 is on the right. I take my number away from the variable and point it to the other number. So instead of plus three and a half, we do the opposite. We do a minus three and a half. 10 minus three and a half on the calculator gets us six and a half. For number five, T minus 4.25 equals negative four. You can see the negative 4.25 is on the left and the negative 4 is on the right. We take our arrow and we move it away from the variable towards the other number. Instead of minus 4.25, we do the opposite. We do plus 4.25. On the calculator, we do negative 4 plus 4.25, and you get a value of 0.25. For number six, you can see the negative six is on the left, the 3.6 is on the right. We take the number away from the variable and pull it towards the other number. The negative six, we do the opposite, we do a positive six. And on the calculator, 3.6 plus six gives us an answer of 9.6. For seven, we're gonna write the equation negative two x equals negative six. We're matching up our pieces to make our equation. 
you can see that the negative 2 is on the left-hand side and the negative 6 is on the right-hand side. The 2 and the x written together means multiply. So we do the opposite. We divide negative 6 divided by negative 2 gets us a value of positive 3. Two negatives make a positive answer. Moving on to two-step equations. Here, we still draw our line down our equal sign because you can see that the 14 and the 9 are on the left-hand side and the negative 13 is on the right-hand side. For two-step equations, we start with the number without the variable. We will save the variable number for last. So the 14, we move it away from the variable. And 14, we do the opposite. We do a minus 14. And so our equation now reads 9m because we did not use that piece. And then negative 13 and negative 14 would make negative 27. From here, we do it again. And instead of multiplying 9 and m, we move the 9 away. And we do the opposite. We divide. Again, plus and minus are opposites. Multiplying and dividing are opposites. Negative 27 divided by 9 gets you a value of negative 3. For number 9, again, we draw our line down our equal sign. We move the negative 6 away. Notice it's, the arrows are going the opposite direction. We still move the number away from the variable. The minus 6 would change to a plus 6. On the calculator, negative 12 plus 6 gets us a value of negative 6. We still have the n over 2, as we did not use that value yet. When we solve the problem again, now we can move the 2 away from the n. The opposite of dividing by 2 is to multiply by 2. Negative 6 times 2 gets you a value of negative 12. For number 10, when you draw your line down your equal sign, you can see that 1 half and negative 16 are on the left-hand side and negative 4 is on the right-hand side. We start with the whole number, negative 16, and we do the opposite. We do a plus 16. We still have the 1 half B that we have not used yet. And on the calculator, negative 4 plus 16 gets us an answer of 12. From here, you can move your 1 half B by doing the opposite and dividing. And on the calculator, 12 divided by 1 half is 24. For number 11, we start by drawing our line down the equal sign. We do the opposite of a plus 15. We do a minus 15. We have our 4w, negative 13 and negative 15 get us a value of negative 28. And then our final step is to divide. Negative 28 divided by 4 gives us a final answer of negative 7. For number 12, instead of a plus 31, we would do the opposite and do a minus 31. We still have the D over the 1.6, and then 40 and minus 31 is 9. We continue doing the opposite operation, meaning instead of dividing by 1.6, we would multiply. 9 times 1.6 would get us a value of 14.4. For number 13, we take our plus 19 and do the opposite. We do a minus 19. We still have the 2 thirds B, but then when we subtract 35 minus 19, we get 16. Continue doing the opposite. Instead of multiplying, we divide by the 2 thirds. And on the calculator, 16 divided by 2 thirds is 24. Beach trip, Lucy rents a bike from Wheels by the Waves, where they rent bikes for $12 plus $3 per hour 
is represented by 3x. And it tells us that she spent a total of $30. If we take that equation and we combine our like terms, we start with our 12. The opposite of 12 would be a minus 12. We still have our 3x and 30 minus 12 would get us a value of 18. Our final step is to divide and 18 divided by three gets us an answer of six. So how many hours did she rent her bike? She rented it for six hours. For number 15, it says Paul is scuba diving and it is 3.5 feet below sea level. So that's gonna be a negative 3.5. He is descending at a rate of 0.5 feet per minute. So that's gonna be a negative 0.5x. And he is now 12 feet below sea level. So again, that would be a negative 12. When we go to actually solve the equation, we combine our like terms by moving the negative 3.5 over and doing the opposite, which would be a positive 3.5. We still have the negative 0.5x, but negative 12 and positive 3.5 gives us a value of negative 8.5. Our final step to solving the equation is to divide by the negative 0.5. On the calculator, negative 8.5 divided by negative 0.5 gives us an answer of 17. So to answer the question, how many minutes has passed? The answer is 17 minutes have passed. We have the equation negative 3x and negative 3, and on the other side, negative 6. So negative 3x minus 3 equals negative 6 is our starting equation. When we go to solve the equation, we work it backwards by doing the opposite. Instead of a minus 3, we do a plus 3. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. And our final step is to divide. Negative 3 divided by 3 gives us a positive one as our solution.